Hello everybody, welcome into a brand new civilization tutorial slash explanation. Today we are talking about rock bands, which is a suggestion I got specifically in the YouTube comments. So if you have any tutorial suggestions, put them down in the comments below. I don't have time to get to all of them, obviously, but every once in a while I see one and I go, hey, that's a really good one. I should do that one next. After this video, we will get back to the Pericles game, so do not worry that, or that the Pericles game, sorry, the Germany game, the Wonderstart Roraima, Germany. My head is just all over the place right now. We will get back into the Germany game next episode, so don't worry about that game. It is still happening. I want to wish everyone a happy new year. I hope your celebrations were safe and fun, and I hope 2021 is better than 2020. On this channel, we had a great 2020, so if 2021 can just continue to be as good, that's great, but for everything else wasn't exactly the best. Just a quick reminder that we stream live on twitch.tv slash Van Bradley if you want to catch us play Civ live. The link is in the description below. That is where we played this Russia game you are about to watch. We played it, we won it, turned 225 I think, so it was a fun game for us. We didn't even settle our capital city on freshwater because we're a bunch of goons who, who don't listen to the rules of Civ and, and maybe just forgot to do it. Anyways, enjoy this game, enjoy the tutorial. I hope to see you live on Twitch. Let me know your suggestions in the comments. Have a happy new year, and let's hop into this one. Rock bands, rock bands, rock bands. My favorite and least favorite units in the game. I had a request to talk about rock bands and just kind of explain how to work and how to use them properly in your games in the YouTube comments, and I thought this is the perfect time to kick off a new year to get this tutorial out to you guys. So today, we're going to be talking all about the rock band unit. Rock bands are a unit found in the Cold War era Civic, and they are very, very important for closing out a culture victory. So by the time you get to here, you should already be ahead in culture, you should already be winning the culture victory, but rock bands are a really good way to get that last bit of tourism you need to kind of close out a culture victory, especially on lower difficulties. They, they really just, they slam the door shut on the opponent. There's two things we have to talk about before we talk about the actual rock bands that have nothing to do with the rock bands at all. The first is your faith income. This is the first turn in this game as Russia that we can buy rock bands. And you can see that the rock band unit here costs 510 faith. Let's buy one in a city where I can actually grab it. Right, so you need a good faith economy to acquire rock bands. We played this game on stream, twitch.tv slash Van Bradley, if you want to check it out. We played this game on stream tonight, and we won it by turn 225, I think. And I want to say we bought 10 rock bands, somewhere between 10 to 15 rock bands, and they get more expensive by 100 gold every time. It was about 15, because we hit 2,000 faith per rock band. So you really need to have a good faith economy to make rock bands useful. So if you're planning on using rock bands at all in your game, which you should if you're going for a culture game, you need to need to need to make sure you have some sort of faith economy set up in your empire. Whether that's holy sites, whether that's taking void singers and getting it from your old god album, However, you want to acquire your faith. Earth Goddess is another way to do it. But before you can even think about rock bands, you need to make sure you are collecting a good amount of faith per turn. At, at turn 181, at this point in the game, if we take a look at the culture victory, you can see I'm already winning it here. Um, I like to be around 600 ish, right? So, so hitting 500 at this point, knowing I'll get to around 6, 7, 800 by turn 200, 210 ish is totally fine with me, right? But you need to be in the 400 plus at least to be able to acquire enough rock bands and this is for deity right so on lower difficulties you might need less faith but the point still stands is you're going to need a lot of faith if you're going to continue to buy rock bands because they get more expensive every single time you buy them and 510 is pretty expensive if you're not uh collecting 475 faith per turn the second thing we need to talk about before we talk about the actual rock band unit are the naturalist units. So the naturalists come on the culture tree a little bit before uh, rock bands. They come in conservation up here. And naturalists allow you to do two really cool things. Planting woods is the one that doesn't cost any faith. But naturalists cost faith to make national parks. We'll talk about naturalists in a different video, so I'm not going to go over like how to make national parks with them or anything. But you can see we have all of our national parks done, and that's really important. So naturalists work the same way as rock bands in the sense that they cost a, an amount of faith to purchase, and they get more expensive the more and more you get. So this one costs 1275. The first one probably costs 600-ish. 
right? And so we've gotten six or seven naturalists. What's really important though, is that you already buy your national parks before you get to your rock bands to maximize the amount of faith. So as you go through the game, you will plan out where you want your national parks to go and you want to aim to have them all done by the time you hit rock bands. That way you already have a lot of culture and a lot of tourism from your national parks, but you can just use your whole faith economy on rock bands instead of having to circle back and buy naturalists. So my, my piece of advice to you guys will, will, will be use your faith to buy naturalists up until rock bands and really try your best to have bought all your national parks before then. Right, so not only are you going to need a lot of faith for your rock bands, you're going to need a lot of faith along the way to buy the naturalists you need because you need to have your national parks down before you get to your rock bands. It's not the end of the world if you get to your rock bands and still have national parks you want to put down, but it does kind of constrain the faith and it does it makes it so you're not maximizing your national parks or your rock bands. You're kind of stuck between both. So get all your national parks down on the way and then once you hit rock bands, you should have all your national parks done and you can maneuver over and use your faith on rock bands. To purchase a rock band for yourself, the easiest thing to do is just head to a city. If there's a unit like a builder or an apostle or something in here, I can't remember what unit type it is, but it'll block it. So all I have to do is move the units out of a city. That's why we couldn't buy one down here earlier. Right, but all you gotta do is click the rock band. It'll subtract the face from the top. Bada bing, bada boom. You now have a rock band unit. Now that you have a rock band, you are going to need to do two things to it. You're going to need to give it a name. It's actually a requirement. You do need to give it a name. You also need to select a promotion for it. It is worth noting at this point here that you can have multiple rock bands. If I have one here, I can buy another one here. The only limit to the amount of rock bands you can have on the map is your faith, which is why having a good faith economy is important because it's not like the game limits you in any other way. Once we have our rock band, you can click the name unit thing. I name it after people that subscribe during the Twitch stream. So today we had some people gift some subs out and all of those people that gifted subs got the rock bands named after them. But you can just confirm the name there, whatever name you'd like. And you have to select a promotion. Rock bands work a little bit like spies in the sense that the better they do, the more promotions they will acquire. It's not exactly a similar comparison, but it's close enough to make sense. So much like when you're looking at spies, you want to pick promotions that'll continue to level your rock band up. So something like Popstar here, it earns gold equal to 25% of the tourism generated. That's great, but it doesn't make your rock band particularly good at anything. Whereas something like Space Rock performs at Space ports and campuses for 500 tourism plus 1000 tourism if the campus has a university and one level more experience so clicking space rock and giving the rock band that promotion actually makes it good at something better than average at performing on campuses so if I want the pop star promotion, the best way to go about it is to get Space Rock, perform on some campuses, hopefully level up, and then this promotion will be here later, right? But if I don't grab uh, Space Rock first and I grab Pop Star first, it's much, it's, it's much less likely, sorry, that I'll level up because I'm not really good at anything in particular. So this one, obviously, you want to take Space Rock. Uh, there's a couple you want to look out for. Space Rock is quite good. There's one that makes your rock band better on entertainment complexes. The one there's one that makes them better at lighthouse and harbor districts or ha harbor districts and something else there's one that makes them better on entertainment complexes and so those are the ones you're looking out for something like religious rock or pop star these ones that don't make your rock band particularly good at anything are the ones you want to avoid until later so this one we will take space rock Here's another example of what we just talked about. We're going to name this one Friendly Revolution, but in its promotions, it has Arena Rock, performs as if two levels more experienced on Entertainment Complex District Tiles. So that's the one I'm going to take. The movement is nice and Indie is a nice promotion, but they're not going to help me level up further than just the one, whereas Arena Rock might actually help me level up a second time and acquire one of these anyway, so we will go here. At this point, it's worth noting that if your rock band does not have any promotions that make it perform as if one level more experienced on X tile, like a district or a wonder or whatever, and you just have three that are good, but don't make your rock band particularly good at everything, the best strategy I like to do is to take whatever promotion you feel is best, whether it's losing 40 loyalty or earning gold equal to half the tourism or whatever it is, you can take your pick and then have it perform on wonder tiles 
we're about to get into performing, but just we're skipping the level up stage for now. So if you are leveling up a rock band and it does not have a plus one more experience on uh, harbor districts or campuses or wonders or entertainment complexes, and it just has three promotions that you feel don't make it really good at any particular thing, that's fine. Just have it go around and perform on wonder districts. There are loads of them around and, and that should be the way I would approach it. Once you have your promotion, you are ready to send your rock band out into the world. It's important to note that you want to keep track of what your rock bands are good at. This rock band is good at performing on campus districts, so I will send it to campus districts. All the districts around the world here that you can perform on will be highlighted in white. It is worth noting that if a enemy has a unit on a tile that you can perform on, it will unshade from white. So you might want to actually use like a campus search function to find all the campuses on the map because they might not be the same as the highlighted ones because the opponent has a unit on that tile. So if your rock band can't move on the tile, it will be unhighlighted white. That doesn't mean it can't perform there. It just means temporarily there's another unit in the way that's blocking the rock band from standing there. There's also a card, call, a card called Music Censorship. Rock bands from other players may not enter your territory. Your opponents may place this card in their government whatever you want to call it, to block you from using your rock bands, that is totally fine. I mean, it's not ideal. But if you try to move a rock band into a uh, empire that has that card in, all the tiles will just show up as red. So your game's not broken. The rock bands are, are working as intended. The enemy AI has just put that card in to block you from doing your rock band thing in their empire. So it's called music censorship. It comes at space race and the enemy will employ this card to block you. I would suggest though to check back in, right? They usually block you and then when they realize you're not in their empire, once they get their next card switch, they'll swap the card out. So you should be able to still move pretty freely around the map, even if they're using that card to block your rock bands. So old observations here is good at performing on campus district tiles, so I shall send it to this campus first. It can only perform on each tile once. So once it performs on this campus, it'll have to move to another campus. It cannot perform here twice, but each rock band can perform on each tile once. So this rock band can perform on this campus as well. It's, it's one tile per rock band, but a second rock band can come in and perform after you. So if this rock band performs on this tile, the second rock band can still perform on this tile. It's just one rock band can't perform perform in the same tile twice. All right, old observations is ready to perform. They are on a campus. That is what they are good at. So I will click perform rock concert and let's see what happens. We are performing here. So old observations, despite their best efforts um, disbanded. There were some creative differences among the performers. We generated 2000 tourism, but we lost our unit. So it's worth noting that even with the right promotions, rock bands are a huge RNG game. Sometimes the worst rock bands with the worst promotions will do the best. Sometimes the best rock bands with the best promotions will do the worst. And there is a little bit of RNG involved. So we generated 2000 tourism from that. So what is that? 430 per turn. That's like four turns worth of tourism and it got generated to Basil. So if I go to my culture screen here and I hover over here, it'll say tourism 451 current tourism and 19,298 lifetime tourism. That's where that number gets added to um, on this screen here. So that's the amount of tourism we generated from that performance. Let's give this one a go on an entertainment complex, good at performing on entertainment complexes. Let's see what happens. Man, our rock bands are sucking. They're terrible. I don't know how long it's going to be until I can get a rock band that levels up so you can see what that looks like. But this is not going well for us. This is the RNG game. I promise you they're good. You should still do them and use them and build them. But this is a bit, this is a bit of a rough start. I had this fun idea to re-roll the turn to see if my results would be that much different if I retried the same thing, so we will take a look at that. It's also worth noting, though, that when you go and hover over Perform Rock Concert, it says your manager expects to generate 1,000 tourism, so it gives you a rough estimate that I find to be wildly off, so I don't even listen to it. But it says there's a 37% chance these rockers will make this their final gig and retire after playing here. So it lets you know what the percentage chance is. This is a 26% chance 
that these rockers will make it their final gig. So the higher the rock band level is, the less chance it will disband. But also if it's playing on tiles that it's good at playing at, like uh, campuses for this one and entertainment complexes for this one. And that's what I was talking about earlier. The, the better your rock band is at playing on certain tiles, the less likely it is to disband. Despite what you just watched, it does make it less likely. So I'm going to try these two again and see if we have anything different. Nope. Nothing different on this one. And nothing different on that one. Okay, so I rerolled the turn. It's the exact same. So there's some behind the scenes mechanics in the game that have already decided how those performances are going to go. That's totally fine. I'm going to reroll it again and try it on this campus until we get a level up just so you can see what that looks like. <laughs> it was the exact same on the other campus. So the game really does have a behind the scenes algorithm to decide on this specific turn how this is gonna go regardless of which campus I put it on. That's really funny, I didn't actually know that. Cool, we're learning as we're making the tutorial, I like that. All right, so here we go. All I did was wait a turn, so the behind the scenes algorithm does seem to be on a turn by turn basis to decide how your rock concerts are gonna go, which is totally fine, because this one you can already see it leveled up. We were level one before, now we are level two after performing on an entertainment complex, so We'll exit. Only generated 250 tourism, which is fine, but it did get a promotion level. So a promotion level is going to allow us to promote this rock band next turn. So you've done your rock concerts. Your rock band is ready to be promoted. Same as before. You just come and select a promotion. Performs as if two levels more experienced on theater square tiles. So you can add something like this to make it good on entertainment complex and theater square tiles if you like. Um, performs at seaside resorts and harbors. These are three really good. Uh, music festival is pretty bad, actually. There's not a lot of national parks that the AI builds or natural wonders you can actually stand on. But anyways, these are some really good promotions, but your rock band is still always going to be good on entertainment complex tiles. So if this if this is the point where you want to add a little bit of uh, extra gold or a little bit of extra faith or whatever it was giving you before, this is a good time to add that promotion. It's not so good as a first promotion, but all you got to do is select a promotion and you are off to the races for your next turn. And as you perform, your chances of the rock band disbanding will go down based on level and based on being on the correct tiles. As your rock bands adventure around the map and start performing concerts, this culture victory screen is gonna go a little bit crazy. So I just wanna warn you about that. Because you're getting all this tourism in one big boost, the, the in-game counter that appears here that tells you how many turns you have to win can be completely off at times. So what might happen is you might send a rock band out. It does like a, a concert that gives you 6,000 tourism, which is an absolutely absurd number. So the game goes and it says, hey, if you get six thousand tourism every turn you're going to win in like six turns when in reality it's not the case because you know you're not doing that every single turn so just don't get discouraged if the number that it says to win goes from like you're gonna win in a hundred turns you're gonna win in six turns and then it disappears like it is right now and then you're gonna win in four turns and then you're gonna win in 33 turns that is totally fine. That's kind of how the game adjusts to the rock band tourism. That's totally good. All that really matters is that you are farther ahead in your culture victory than you were before, and that should be reflected here. And obviously, as it averages out over 10, 20, 30 turns of using rock bands, you'll probably find an upward trajectory. The last thing I want to mention is how to decide where to send your rock bands to. So this is the part where I don't really like to tell people how to play Civ. I want people to play and explore for themselves and kind of and kind of just figure out what they want to do so one of the first decisions you have to make is how far away do i want my rock bands to go my rock bands i'm right next to basil in this game i can perform like three four five concerts in basil's land before my rock band can even get over to eleanor right so there's an opportunity cost there of time spent traveling across the ocean right if my rock band travels all the way across here it's not performing here and it delays the rock band's effectiveness for 10 turns 12 turns however long it takes to go over so that is one consideration it's typically easier to use your rock bands on civilizations that are closest to you because that's usually where you get the most out of them but there's some other things you should take into consideration as well. First off is like Basil might ban me from using rock bands. So there's that whole problem where I'll have to find somewhere else to go. Next is districts, right? If your rock band is good on campuses and Korea is in the game and Korea has like 15 campuses, you will probably get the best bang for your buck there because you can just bounce from campus to campus to campus. So definitely look out for things like that. If I have a rock band that's good on theater squares, I probably want to take it over to Eleanor, who, who probably has a bunch of theater squares for us 
us to perform on. You also want to consider where you need to get the tourists from and who is going to win a culture victory if you don't, right? So if you are neck and neck with Basil in this case for a culture victory, you want to send your rock band there and start stealing his tourists away. It'll help slow the game down a little bit for him, right? If you're already ahead, it matters a little bit less, but it is good to identify like who's the second place person here? Who's, who's on my tail? Who's coming up behind me? And can I send rock bands into their territory to slow them down? You will notice is that if you are on top of a culture game, the AI will all send their rock bands to you if they build them because they're trying to slow down your culture game. So that's a consideration as well, is who is on top in the game. In this case, Basil's both the closest and the next in line, so that's awesome for me. And the last thing you want to look at is where do I need these tourists from? So I need to generate 265 visiting tourists, right? And I have this many from all these people. I have 13 from Nubia, 13 from Rome, 17 from Basil, 13 from Eleanor, and that's all fine and fantastic. But Amani only has 55 to go. These are her domestic tourists. She only has 55 for me to even possibly take. Whereas someone like Basil is 264. So there's so many more people here for me to grab in Basil to add to this number than there are in Nubia, right? So all of the signs are kind of leading me towards using my rock bands in Basil's territory if possible, but it is good to keep tabs on these numbers. Where do you have tourists from? Where are you most likely to get them? At some point in the game too, I don't have a notification on here. It'll tell you like, hey, you are culturally dominant over Nubia. If you're already culturally dominant over somebody, you probably don't need to be sending rock bands into their territory. Now, if you're good on wonders and they have lots of wonders, it's still totally fine, but you do want to maximize how good your rock bands are. And you can do that by kind of checking in here and seeing, hey, I have this many tourists from all these people. I need to collect 265. Who has the tourists to collect? Basil is the most possible tourist for me to collect. Therefore, it's a good opportunity to go there and collect as many tourists as possible. I hope that was a good tutorial for you guys. There's not a lot to rock bands. It's not a very complicated system to work out or to explain, but it is good to know how to use them, where to use them, how to use the promotions, at what point in the game you're gonna get them, knowing that you need a lot of faith already backed up in storage to buy them. Those are things that are nice to know as you approach your next culture game. If you have any suggestions for my next tutorial, please put them down in the description below. I would love to read them or in the comments below, sorry. If you wanna check us out live, twitch.tv slash Van Bradley is the place. That's where we played that Russia game and we won at like turn 225, it was sick. So if you wanna watch us play Civ live, that is the place to go. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Like and subscribe button are there if you wanna click them. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.